Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another first try. Today, we're going to take a look at Super Time Force Ultra. And by the way, my name is Nick. What is Super Time Force Ultra? Well, it's a platformer with time travel mechanics developed by Capybara Games, which brought you Super Brothers, Sword and Sorcery EP. Maybe you know them from this game at least. It's the case with me. It was pretty... It was previously released on Xbox, and it's now ported to PC, so it's a console port, and so our duty it is to show, or to see, whether or not it's any good. Before we do that, we can take a look at the options menu first, but before we do that, I'd like to point out, this is fairly nice that the prompts change depending on your last input. That's something very good, in my opinion. Really, really, really nice. So, the options menu. We can decrease or increase music and sound effects volume. We can turn off the vibration on the controller. We can disable Wii Sync if we so desire. With different resolutions. With their aspect ratio. We can change the display from full screen over windows to windowed full screen. And we can change the aspect ratio, ratio if we so desire. Also, we can clear save, but I don't want to go through the tutorial with you again, so we are not going to do that. The controls. The controls are fully rebindable. Wonderful. So that's always nice to have here. That's most of the time a really good sign. We have leaderboards, as you can see. I'm fairly good. <laughs> Not really. And we can take a look at the achievements, but yeah, that will link us there. So let's head on and continue with the game. And there we are, the Hell Hot Deck. As you can see, I've also I've cleared through the tutorial and the first level, which is basically the 1980s. We can go to the past, future, the middle ages, dinosaur time, or... I don't know what that really is, 9600. Ice time, something along those lines. I was never good in history, so... Screw that. We can also take a look at the other rooms. There you can see your teammates. As you can see, there is a lot of space to be had. That can be really filled. Beautiful. So, these two are random pickups. Not random. They are pickups in the level, so you can see your progress right there. And I would say we go to the Middle Ages, because hey, why not? As you can see, the dialogue is quite nice, in my opinion, it's... <laughs> the... The humor in the dialogue is, well, something to be had and to be seen. Oh, this is also very nice. And there we go, you can see we have 16 second, 60 seconds time. And we currently have 4 characters. Sean, Ram, Boa. <laughs> Anime Killing, Shieldy Blockerson and Jeff Blackboard. If you don't know the rest these references then yeah. Look it up. You might find it. We start off with Rambo, uh, Rambo R, I mean. As you can see, what I've just picked up increased my time of timeouts I can take. And as you can see, I die here. Each time you die, you can make a timeout. And yeah. Now 
Oh, I saved my previous life. And I should be able to pick it up now. See, now I have two people fighting for me, which increases my damage output. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, let's go check that out. That was not good. Oh, come on. <laughs> As you can see, I am really, really good at these games. And he should have... The, he should have died here soon. Damn it. <clears throat> I should pull my... Sh Together. <coughs> I'm not meant to lose so shit here. What the? We go a different route. <laughs> um. As you can see, when you lose time, a lot of time in this action, you can take a timer and die. That's always a possibility. What would be nicer is if you... ...are able to do this instead. You'd rather pick up this... Okay, whatever. I have to go the person early, as it seems. If I don't choose to jump up here, I can rewind and go ahead. That's always really nice. So. And I can alternative. alternatively can die here. <laughs> oh my. Actually, what that means is try not to die and try not to suck and do some damage in the process. So now I need 
to be a little bit faster. And the mission is complete. EPIA. And they should have collected that. So now we can take a look at our things. So the side you can also slow down. <laughs> there is the master also. <laughs> oh hell. And yeah, that's basically the entire the entirety of the game. You can you have different levels, you have different objectives to fulfill. And if you want to collect everything and every power up and every pickup there you possibly use, this was I should have been on time. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> you can optimize your routes and you can succeed in sucking us. I think that's the first objective I have to do here. That's why I'm right. So let's see. Let's crash that. Slow mo. Wonderful. Also, the backgrounds are also fairly nice. When you take a look at the replay, you can see something's going on here. It's really nice. Also, I wonder how, how little HP do you have. Oh. Really did not have that much. So yeah. That's the next mission. And that's where I come to my conclusion. What is there to say? Oh god, I know this cooler. Protect this. Okay. Well, okay. My conclusion. <laughs> As I was saying. I played the game both ways with controller and with keyboard. It's really nice. It's. I I don't I haven't found found any flaws so far. And I'm quite impressed by the work they've done, so kudos to Capybara. It's 15 euros of original equivalent and I think you will have a lot of a, a lot of fun with this game. The only minor complaint maybe that arises is that there is no co-op mode whatsoever. Maybe in the future a multiplayer co-op mode that would be really nice. But as it stands the game itself is quite impressive as well so I would definitely give it a shot, if I were you. And if the game goes on sale, then take it, goddammit. <laughs> My name has been Nick, ladies and gentlemen, and this was a first try on Super Time Force Ultra, and it definitely made a first try. And I shall see you next time.